The Presidio is an interesting place because it's so small, it's just 1,500 acres, but it has a rich diversity of geology. It has four different geologic formations and 14 different native plant habitats. So although the army did a lot of work here, they also preserved some remnant areas of San Francisco that otherwise would not have been preserved because of development. So we want to conserve what we have and we're expanding the ecological footprint so all of this diversity of animals can grow and thrive. Site-wide vegetation monitoring is a key part of managing a restoration site. By getting a broad picture of what's there, we can answer questions about how the weeds are doing, how the dune annuals are doing, have we left enough bare ground, is there too much bare ground? By monitoring before work begins and periodically afterwards, we can tell if our intensive management is really working, and if it's not, we can modify our approach. Over the last eight years, we've done site-wide vegetation monitoring at 30 restoration sites. These little remnant pockets are so important to maintain because they're reservoirs of information. There's genetic information from the plants that are there, and that's where we go to collect plants to, to grow out and put in other locations. And we're actually working intensively at Inspiration Point. It's one of our biggest sites. Serpentine grasslands are very rare plant communities. Serpentine is a type of rock that has high heavy metals and has an unusual calcium to magnesium ratio. It's harsh growing for lots of different plant species. And the plants that can grow on them tend to be specialists. Presidio clarkia is one of those. And it occurs only on serpentine they have been disturbed by building and nitrogen deposition and grazing and all sorts of ways that they've been damaged. And so for the last 15 years, we've been keeping track of those and doing major restoration work to make sure that the Clarkia has a place to grow and the grassland can be expanded. So the Presidio Natural Resources Program monitors nearly 20 rare plants that exist in the Presidio. The reason why rare species are important to us is it's, it's one of the measures of success in ecological restoration. If we're making a place for species that are uncommon, the rare plants, the rare animals, is really a higher standard. It's what we strive for here in the Presidio. So we're standing in one of the more recent restoration sites here in the Presidio. We're right at the edge of the Baker Beach Apartments. We're in what was formerly a vast sand dune system, which was quite diverse. And at this site, we learned a little bit about how to best establish an endangered species like the San Francisco Lysingia. It's a sand dune species. It only exists here in the Presidio in one area south of here in Daly City. Now, 10 years ago, there was old army housing here. It was removed as kind of a pilot project for restoring a dune scrub habitat, including these rare species. We're doing that through the practices of ecological restoration, the collection of seed from native species by hand, bringing those seeds to the nursery, propagating native plants, nurturing them, then planting them out into areas where habitat was lost for many years. So there have been adaptive management trials to bring back these species to see what techniques work best. And San Francisco Lysingia has been restored to this area and is doing quite well. The work we've done has definitely improved the quantity and quality of habitat on the Presidio. We've essentially doubled the area that's dominated by native plants. And that means that animals that either were on the edge of surviving in the Presidio or didn't have sufficient habitat in the Presidio have been able to expand.